Okay, this is a fit check. I know you shouldn't show your feet on the internet for free. However, there's something about being barefoot that's just really nice and grounding and I don't have shoes on at the moment and I could go in and get some, but that's gonna be long. So, fit check. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. I've gotta be really careful because I haven't shaved my armpits. And I'm, you know, I don't mind seeing my hairy armpits. However, some people might have an issue with it. Although I say to those people, you're immature, everyone has hair, grow the F up. Oh, okay, I've got to be a bit more polite. Um, but yeah, everyone has hair. This is my fit. I should definitely be wearing a belt because these are meant to be high-waisted like this. However, why would I wear a belt when I'm at home? Actually, I do like wearing a belt because it just makes me feel... I feel like when I wear tight clothes, I am definitely a lot more productive. It's like wearing gym clothes to clean. It's it's a whole different thing. I mean, I know Holly will know what I mean, but yeah. Anyway, shall we? Nice. Sweet. Okay, of course, first things first, incense bubble. And I'll show you my incense. This is a lavender one, it's very cool, it's very nice. So I'm gonna do an incense bubble for me and then an incense bubble for you. And this is a reminder to me, to future me, to please buy more incense sticks. Look, two left. That's unacceptable, that's completely unacceptable. So I'm doing the usual, I'm going to place this on here, place it on there, actually this is my mum's jacket so I'm going to be a lot more careful with this, um, in fact I'll, I'll balance it like that, yeah, I said jacket, I meant shirt, um, which is really cool, it's from probably the 90s, okay so recap, recap, what have I done? I went to the Detling Garden Show with my dad. That was really nice. And then I... I made myself a coffee, perhaps. I don't need a coffee, but I want a coffee. There's a plane going up ahead. Oh, it's a helicopter. It's not a plane. Okay, that's put me in a better mood. <laughs> okay, maybe I can actually film this. Sometimes I just get a bit like, rah, like I'm not necessarily in the mood to talk to the camera. Perhaps I'm not in the mood to sit down. Maybe that's the issue. However, I'm sat, sat down and I will do this. Perhaps I feel like I don't really have much to say. Mm. painted my nails I did show that well I'll show it in the next video but yeah <laughs> don't ever let me do that again <laughs> like never never <laughs> just, uh, whenever I see people do it, it uh, no stop actually stopping it looks cool and it's really enjoyable it's a really enjoyable movement to do and in fact I'm going to roll up my sleeves because I think I'm I'm too hot but I refuse to take my jacket off. So I'll start again with the recap of the day. Today is actually Friday the 2nd of June 2023 and it's currently 6 47 p.m which is divine which means I have plenty of time because my whole routine is sleep around 8, 9 a.m. It used to be 4 a.m. It's currently shifted back even more. I feel like I'm living in Australia where it's just completely reversed. And then I've been waking up around 3 p.m. Today I woke up earlier. I woke up at half two. I haven't really done much though. My day sort of starts around this time. It's like my morning is, yeah, three to five or six. And then my afternoon is 
you know, around six till midnight. And then my evening is midnight till whenever I go to sleep. So four, five, six a.m. I really do enjoy it that way. My mum's friend Karen was asking me the other day, the same Karen in the last video, she was asking me if I, you know, if I actually like waking up late and going to sleep late and I was like well yeah because you know my brother does the same and it's a great solidarity when we're both in the kitchen at 3am making chips <laughs> yeah Ooh. I could actually hold it it could allow me to you know actually I have zero idea what benefits holding this would do for me sometimes I just like to try new things it would stop me talking with my hands <gasps> No, what did I say I didn't want to do? My mum took such good care of the clothes before she gave them to me. And yet, I have this unfortunate issue where no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try to take care of something, let me show you my jacket, for example. I've tried. This is becoming a theme, me knocking off my camera. So what I've tried to do is take wonderful care of this jacket right here. This is kind of like my jacket. I feel like a lot of people know me for this jacket. But of course, it's got incense hole, incense burn hole after incense burn hole. Perhaps you can see it there. So what I've attempted to do is in some places I have actually stitched. Where is it? Perhaps it's on the other, yeah, on the other sleeve. So I've, I've stitched over the incense burn holes, like these aren't for decoration, this is, um, what does my mum call it, something like, um, not performative mending. Ah, oh, she's going to be really annoyed if I don't remember this. It's, it's something mending, something stitching, uh, like practical, um, but you know, it's still nice, so I'm still learning how to sew actual shapes. That's meant to be a Z you know for like snooze like snooze the alarm right <laughs> that's a star see that's that's actually off a sock um i really like the shape the shape i really like the sock uh applique so i cut it off my sock and i stitched it on here um and that's that's just kind of a circle really a couple others I'm giving you a whole tour of my jacket now okay on the back it's was meant to be a flower it's kind of coming undone now and um, it's kind of hard because the lining it's it's two pieces of material so it's it's the uh, i don't know what material you call this it does say on the inside 100 percent cotton lining 100 percent cotton shell 85 percent polyester 15 percent nylon designed in france Ooh. Incense stick holder. Um, so yeah, if anyone cares, this is the inside of the label. I'm not sure what to do about this, where it's really worn. It's really sun faded as well. Um, but obviously, no one really sees the inside. Um, but yeah, this is my favourite jacket. It's probably my favourite jacket. There's a bug on here if you would like to see. Oh, it's flown off. <laughs> anyway, long story short is I went to the Detling Garden Centre with my dad, and that was really nice, really fun. And I have also been running. I did it. I did it. And I feel like that gave me so much energy. Like, I actually felt high. Like, I don't know why I whispered that word. But something about running, hard exercise, getting your blood pumping, just makes you feel like... I don't know, like you're on top of the world. It just, it just feels so nice. Uh, I felt like I was on top of the clouds. Uh, so definitely will be doing that again. Perhaps today I would like to, not even like to, I would, hmm, I am dedicated to, rah, that means I actually have to run today, but I'm dedicated to running every single day in the month of June 2023. <laughs> so I might run around my garden though if it gets too late because it's not always safe to run at night especially if you're running in fields and woods at night um yeah better safe than sorry i always say so 
speaking of which i will be ashing this before i ash it all over myself i will do an affirmation of the day so last last video i did my life is in perfect flow this oh, okay today's affirmation is everything in my life is working out perfectly for me and you can say it three times i'm not going to do that for you this time um, but i will say everything in your life is working out perfectly for you and by that i mean everything good mm. everything that's love light and peace you know because i refuse to manifest bad things so just remember that everything good everything that is love light and peace is working out for you and it's working out for me i've done affirmation of the day mm. quote of the day i'll do part of the quote it starts with if you inherently long for something become it first if you long for gardens become the gardener there's a bit more to the quote but i'll leave you with that it, it is in my videos the quote i've stuck it up on the, on the window i calligraphied it and then yeah i've traveled around with it for the past four years and when i came back home i was like yes i would like my family to read this quote as well so I stuck it on the window pane. So you'll probably see it in the background of the video where I'm making a coffee. Other things, okay, let me quickly manifest for myself. I wish that I would be more careful regarding incense sticks and the ash. I wish that my brother and I would watch the next Harry Potter movie. We watched the sixth one again the other day. And yeah, so I wish we would watch that by the end of the week. I wish that my parents find more time to relax and enjoy their life because they always work really hard and I'm like honey take a break please <laughs> like please you know like if you're happy I'm happy it's how it works you know and I know it works the other way if I'm happy you're happy um that's me speaking to my parents I don't know if they actually watch my videos I did ask them to but like I said they're so busy okay um, I'll wish that um, I wish my parents were given the time to watch my YouTube videos so that they can be updated on my life you know obviously I update them I call them every day in fact I called my dad today but he was busy and I was like it's okay because I understand and like it wasn't even for anything urgent it was just simply to chat um, you know I got really sad then. <laughs> like, I know that it's, you know, okay and they're just busy, but it doesn't stop me feeling sometimes that, you know, I'm a burden to them. And I'm like, I know I'm not. I know I'm the opposite of a burden to my parents. But, you know, that's the issue about feelings. Sometimes they combat what you know inside. And, yeah. Mm, I should make a wish for myself. Okay, I wish that... Mm, I'm thinking so much in this video. And it's okay to think, but I really prefer to not think because when I don't think, I just act, I just move. It's like I'm completely procrastinating editing this video because I edit on my phone, so, you know. It's like, oh no, my phone's busy, what a shame. <laughs> okay, okay, other things that I'm gonna be doing. It's one of those times where there's not a lot going on in my life at the moment, so, from past experience when not much seems to be happening it means that it's kind of being bunched up it's like a delayed response it's like zhoop, like things just start just like an exponential graph you know i do math so an exponential graph it appears like nothing is happening and then suddenly you know up and to infinity and yeah my inkling is around the 13th of june 2023 so this month i just love saying the year because it's like wow 
who would have guessed we would ever be in 2023? Not me, not me, you know. Um, when I was 16, I was like, wow, 2016, this is mad, what a mad year. I'm in 2023, it's like, I feel like I've blinked and I've just appeared. But yeah, my inkling is around the 13th of June, 2023 is when this exponential, I can almost do it with my hand, um, exponential curve rather, graph, whatever you want to call it. It's when a noticeable shift appears, like, it's when the, can I do it with the incense stick? Like this part here. When you're like, oh, I've noticed it's gone up. And then the next few days, it just goes up and up and up and it just, the next few months even not just days, next few weeks, the next few, <laughs> I'm doing tongue twisters for myself, the next few weeks, the next few days, and the next few months, and then even perhaps the next few years. And it's this really weird period of time at the moment where, yeah, it appears that nothing is happening, but it's like things whirring behind the scenes, you know, they're whirring away. And soon, They will be visible and that's very exciting and i love exciting things so yeah one last thing something i'm excited for is my i always do this i try and list things that i'm grateful for list things that i've learned and list things that i'm excited for and those three things i usually do it in the morning but those but listing those three things allows me to appreciate life more I believe it leads to me living a happier life and that's probably why I'm so smiley <laughs> at least I think I'm smiley sometimes I think I'm literally like monotone like I believe that I'm talking like this and then it's like actually no I'm really just I'm express expressionist I was gonna say expressive I'm very expressive and I like that about me also, it's nice to say things that you like about yourself. Can I just say, do that, please, right now. Oh wait, say something nice about yourself. Don't know if I heard anything. If you didn't say anything out loud, or at least type it in your notes if you're somewhere that, you know, you don't really want to speak out loud. If you haven't done that, go back to where I said, say something nice about yourself. Pause the video and do it. Thank you. So, something that I'm excited for is it's my friend Lania's birthday. She's turning 21, ah, she's so old. <laughs> and yeah, so I will be spending time with her to celebrate her birthday very soon. Not this week, but next week. So two weeks time. I know that was three, but that would have been harder. Two weeks time. So I'm excited about that. So yes, I'm also excited to edit this video. I'm convincing myself I am. No, I am, I do like it. I'm having too many coffees and coffees will dehydrate you. So this is my flask. I've had this for eons. Mm. It has warm water in it. It should have lemon in it. So to make it warm lemon water. However, I've been lazy today and I haven't done that. So what was I saying before I distracted myself? Oh yes. You're worthy of peace. If you aren't telling yourself that, then who will be? So, on that kind of somber note, <laughs> can't say serious for two seconds. On that somber note, I will be releasing you to the rest of the video. Enjoy. Really, really good. Cut. That's such an English thing. What? The ducks. There. Well, it's It's a bench. It's three thousand. Damn, I love that.
I said the birds will feel like they're going on a roller coaster. I think that's really cool. I... Yeah, of course you can, sir. <laughs> And caramelized onions because I'm vegan and there's not a lot of option these days about vegan food at food trucks at least here in Kent um, so this is my this is my lunch this is my favorite time of the day when the food order comes <laughs> Such, such a simple thing and oh god I look rough um, but yeah it's so exciting I'm outing my brother he was lazy so I had to get it all out of the crates by myself and does anyone else just do this because I feel bad for the driver so I'm just like I'm gonna just chuck it around everywhere and then put it away which I need to do quickly because this ice cream is gonna melt oh little haul what do we have this is mine vegan sausages there's a vegan pizza under here why am i doing a haul now why am i not just putting things away <laughs> because i'm um impulsive look at this vegan no shirts doing good i've never really had vegan pizzas from supermarkets <laughs> this was a substitute so i'm hoping i like it oh no that's not he said it was a substitute but that's actually what i ordered hmm. Obviously, I have hummus, I have falafel, really giving you an insight. I have tampons, you know, go ahead, nothing to be ashamed of. Girls have periods. This is Beyond Meat Burger. Why is it open? You know what, though? Who cares? Oh, this is exciting. I got a whole, look at this, it's like a kilo. One kilo of crunchy peanut butter, divine. What else? I smashed the cumin, so I had to buy some more. Smooth almond butter. This is this is one of my faves. Um, oh, this to have, you already know, you already know. Sesame seed bagel with peanut butter and banana. Of course, of course. So, oh, these are good. I like these. Um, I had these in Gambia, but I had to private my Gambia vlogs, which is really sad. I just thought that's a bit too revealing um, in terms of location and everything. So that's really sad because I had to private all of those. I mean, it's only sad for me because I can't, you know, watch them back and see my family and stuff like that. Oh, I also got this, which I quite like. as like an instant thing. Anything else? Oh, this. These are good. 
and this Ben bought, but I'm just looking at it now because it looks interesting. Cookies and cream flavor, very cool. And also the kitchen is a lot of my mess, so don't blame my family for the mess. Just to be fair, they've kind of gone. I think that's all, oh, avocado. Obviously lettuce, all the vegetable stuff is mine. Spinach rather, cucumber, grapes. Um, and yeah, that is everything. Ben's come down now. I'm going to stop this because it will be like, raw. don't tell me. Oh, and I bought potatoes to make chips. Nice. I also bought chickpeas because I'd like to make my own falafel and hummus again, which would be divine. So I don't know where to put it. Also, my one of my favourite things about the house, it's the larder. Like, look, we have spice rack. It's just, ignore where it needs painting because my mum would be like, raw. why are you showing that? She probably wouldn't. Oh, do we already have chickpeas? Oh, the more you know. Anyway, um, these are going to go in my section. You can tell it's mine. Protein, creatine, and the peanut butter. So that's just going to go on top. And it will remind me every time that I need to do that. Sweet. Look at this. It's a sweet potato. Look. How mad. It's massive. It's bigger than my head. Might not actually be bigger than my head. Um, that's going to go here. Yeah? about that no am i going to restart this yes hmm i don't know i am trying my hardest okay so to restart why did you like jumper i could put it on and then just do the whole thing again this is really like inauthentic of me because I'm just acting but then everyone acts so like you might as well I guess I don't really want to go through the whole jargon of oh I look like an art student so uh. hmm. I'm gonna start by turning the coffee machine on again. that will help it says heating up and I know the second I start talking it's gonna be like oh I'm gonna start wearing away. So quickly, I look like a real art student. This is a whole mess. I'm gonna leave it on for the time being. And I'm going to stop this. Um, okay, so first things first, I look like an art student. I'm not an art student. I wish I was an art student. It would have been in my blood that my mum was an art student. Um, but I'm gonna take this off because it is boiling. And yes, I am the opposite of an art student because I am a math student. I know it just it just does not correlate. Like anyway, so that was really irrelevant. Probably going to cut that part out. The exciting part is my parents are away for a couple of days, and you know what that means? That means that I get to. This would make sense with context. Should I give context? Also, I don't know why I'm walking forward. Context is, we have a coffee machine where you can plug this in and it will make it frothy, like the milk. It'll give you a cappuccino. We've only had one of these containers for it, and we have since we got it. And 
I am vegan slash lactose intolerant, so I'm having oat milk. However, usually my parents have dairy milk, so they have this and it just stays in the fridge, you know. They wash it, clean it, top it up as needed, but because they always have uh, cappuccino -y, latte -y coffees, um, it means that unfortunately I usually stick to my black coffee. It was really nice living in Sheffield at one point because Zion used to, he used to, he has this milk frother and he also drinks oat milk, so he would make coffees and sometimes I'd get coffee as well and that would be really nice. I was like, ah, oh, got me coffee, it's the best. Anyway, that's a complete side thing. Ugh, I wish I could stay on track. Long story short, although I'm saying long story short, probably editing out the long part. So short story short is oat milk plus this going in. In fact, I could put it all in because I'm the only one here. Um, I don't know what else I'd use this for, actually. I'll keep a little bit in case I want to, I don't know, bake cake or anything. Yeah. Um, and then, so this goes in here, like this, and yeah, that's the right around. And then you pop it in, and it clicks. Yeah. And then, Okay, this is for the water so that we don't have to keep emptying out the water tray, so we just use a glass. And then I'm gonna go, oh, do you know what would be great is if I had another, hmm. This will be fine actually, this should be fine. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like a medium broth. I could have a cappuccino, but I'm not going to do that. And you just put it the different, in fact, I'll bring this, I'll bring this a bit closer. Ah, beautiful. Now, actually see what I'm talking about. So it is, what time is it? Mm, okay. I'm going to have a standard. I already have three. I know I still need to do my nails. I said I was going to do them and I haven't, so we're completely ignoring that. In fact, I'll do this. I'll have a standard. And then you click cappuccino. And it should... Might lift this up just to make sure it goes in. It kind of splatters at the first one. Ah, look at that. Oh my gosh. I've probably done this once before in my life um, where I washed it out and then I, I did it. But oh, is the coffee going to fit in there? Actually, look at this. Divine, absolutely divine. Like, what? Okay, we also usually have our sugar, our brown sugar in a jar, um, but I finished the jar, so it's been washed and cleaned out, so. Parfait. And then, oh. Grab my coffee. I'm gonna have a spoonful of brown sugar. That was a very large spoonful for a very small coffee. However, it will be divine. This coffee, I wish that I received unexpected blessings. Why not? Yeah, okay. Like that. I always try and wish for things with the food. It just adds an extra step of, you know, gratitude, if that makes sense. As in, I thank in my head um like the universe i thank the universe in my head for the food and then i make a wish with the food it's like blowing out a birthday candle but with every food and drink yeah it does it does require effort <laughs> but i really enjoy it anyway i'm gonna drink this outside so i've got to stop but that tastes nice put this away we put this showing me everything i'm not sure that's a good idea but this goes up here with, that's cocoa powder, sesame seeds. I have a spoon in my mouth, that's why I am talking with beef. Um, Demerara sugar and everything, so I'm just going to put this here, maybe I'll rearrange it a bit. So that here. Yeah, sweet. Uh, what was I trying to do? I don't know. This or this or 
Brat. So my mum always says, yes, that is my note. <laughs> um, my mum always says it's very me thing to do. Um, just force my family to see everything in terms of what I believe. Anyway, um, one of the things that my mum says is that it's very easy to forget this. So, as in forget it in the coffee machine. In the coffee machine. This is what happens when I over explain myself. Um, that needs to go out, but I'm not responsible for the dairy. I'm vegan. Lol. This is my section. Hmm. Well, it's, yeah. My section. Anyway, um, it's easy to forget the, whatchamacallit in here. So that's some milk. It says empty, columns, empty grounds container. Right. And, yeah. Pops back on like this. And then, yeah, just empty this and just reuse it for the next time I have a coffee and probably, no, this is my last coffee. I promise, I promise, this is my last coffee. This here is going to be my last coffee of the day. If I break this promise, I will show you anyway. These are my infant sticks. My dad bought these for me, the lavender. And they smell really nice. They smell divine. We got them at the Kent Garden Show. Anyway, that's enough for me. <laughs>